All right, we're continuing Roman numerals, where we've looked at fairly small numbers. And at that time, the, the civilization didn't require numbers to be too big. And we'll see that as we look at larger numbers, things become a little less efficient. But we should still uh, look at 5.2 larger numbers. So at the let's see here, larger numbers with the number system we've uh, discussed so far, the largest number we can make so far, the largest quantity, I guess is more accurate. Uh, we can represent represent is well we can't have more than three in a row so I guess we can go three thousand nine hundred which is going to be what you have like three whole weekend days to CM, 90, 9, so first part two, 3,999. Now when you calculate area of land and things like that, that's not really that big. It depends on your, uh, your unit of measurement, of course. So that number's not that big. What do we do for larger numbers? The nice thing that they came up with is instead of using or introducing more and more letters for 10,000, we're working in tens, so we can handle the ones, tens, hundreds, thousands, sort of. Uh, instead of introducing more numbers for 10,000, 100,000, which all the other civilizations uh, have done, we just create more and more symbols, more elaborate symbols for these larger quantities. They decided, no, let's stick to these letters, not, not introduce more letters, but instead, let's sort of recycle them by putting a line uh, over the letters. So if I put a line over a letter, that is going to represent multiplication by a thousand. So let's say here to represent uh, times a thousand. Oops. So for example, let's turn the camera. For example. 5,000 will be represented with a 5 and a line over it. And in that way, I'm not introducing more and more symbols and it doesn't get overwhelming. We have our letters. They're not going to change. They're not going to increase in number. We just have this little line and then the number that's represented under the line gets multiplied by 1,000. It's a very efficient system that uh, other civilizations uh, weren't able to think of. But now, so let's uh, just come up with some random examples before we look back at the book. Uh, what if we have 120,000? What would the representation for that be now? CXX with a line. So essentially, you're still thinking of ones, which is zero, tens, hundreds, uh, thousands, there are none of those. Ten thousands, well, there are, if I look at that on its own, it's 20,000. If I work backwards, so that 
20,000 as the representation 20 with a line over it, because it's 20,000. Then the 100,000 going big to small, 100,000 is next, which is 100,000. And then we're just making a nice connected line. If you want to break the lines up, it just gets a little messy. Uh, but you can do that as a temporary one and then say, OK, let's make the lines nice and straight and neat uh, to make the representation a little nicer. There's the problem, though. If I just stop here and start representing larger and larger numbers, uh, as we mentioned previously, we want just one way to represent a number. As soon as we have a quantity that can be represented in multiple ways, over time things can unravel and, and uh, communication could uh, sort of fall apart. So if we leave it like this, uh, what would happen if we represent 4,000? There could be multiple ways to represent 4,000 if I just stop here. What's one way to represent 4,000? IV for 4 with a line. That's one way. Actually, sorry, I wanted to go with 6. Sorry. Well, you can do 4 in a second, but 6 is a little easier. That would be VI with a line. But I could also say that it is thinking of 6 as uh, 5 and a 1. I can think of this as 5,000 and 1,000 because 6 here was really 5 plus 1. So that would then mean 5,000 and 1,000. So that would also be that. Now, unfortunately, as much research as I uh, have been able to do, there isn't really conclusive evidence to say which one they chose. And if you happen to find something, some proof, uh, not just speculation, that says which one did they actually use, then please let me know. I was not really able to find it. So uh, we're just going to have to make our own guess and be consistent once we decide on a rule. Because we can't have multiple ways to represent uh, quantity. And those right now are both valid. So by adding one little rule extra, we can avoid that. And I don't know if that's what they actually did, or if uh, they even considered numbers that big. It's not that big, so they must have had some system, some rule to, to handle that. I don't know what it is exactly. Uh, so let's add one more rule. One more rule. So again, uh, this one is a possible rule they could have added. I don't know for sure. And that is never use an I under a line. Simple as that. You're never going to have an I under a line. So that would then say, no, that is not right, and this is the one we're going to go for. So feel free, if you feel like researching it, let me know. But uh, some parts of history is a little uh, hard to say with 100% certainty what uh, they did. <coughs> so then we can look at some numbers in the thousands. And I have a table there on the next page, but I'll write some down as well. Uh, so then 1,000 would obviously be the M that we have a letter for. 2,000, 3,000, let's do 
3,000. I'm not going to do all of them. I can do three in a row, so three M's are fine. Instead <coughs> of three I's with a line. That is not going to be allowed. So we've made the decision. No I's under a line, which means you're, we consider that as not valid, and that is instead a valid representation. 4,000 is not going to be IV with a line, but instead, okay, that's just a little weird, sorry. That, that's not going to be valid. Instead, we are adding more of those special subtractive pairs in a sort of natural way by saying it's a thousand less than five thousand. So we're not really making a list of all those extra subtractive pairs which are now happening in the thousands because they follow the same uh, way of thinking as they did in the ones. A four was one less than five, so a four thousand is one thousand less than five thousand. 5,000 we've done, 6,000 we've done, let's do a 7,000, which will then be 5,000 and two 1,000s, just like 7 would be 5 and two 1s. So with that rule, it does make sense because it, it fits uh, the same pattern as it, uh, the 1s would have done, the units. Does this make sense so far? Let me squeeze in a little more here. 9,000. Thinking of 9, we follow the same pattern with 9,000, which would be 1,000 less than 10,000. It's very quiet. Is it the Monday effect? That extra day off hurts in a way. Not always a good thing, taking a Friday off. Uh, what else is tricky? Let's do a random one, like 12,000. That would be, well, what would 12 be? 10 and uh, 2. So you could have done them separately. Let's do them over here as temporary. <coughs> I need 10,000, so 10,000, and then 2,000 can be covered with the M's, so that'll be it. So there's no extension of lines that I have to do or anything. So sometimes if I do a temporary one by looking at the, the digits separately, my lines will be a lot of pieces that I can connect to make pretty, but in this case, there's nothing like that. Uh, what other one is maybe worth mentioning? Uh, 17,000, for example. Again, here you could do a temporary one, just sort of a side note to figure out. 10,000, 7,000 will be 5,000 and 2,000. So then you can make it look pretty with the X and the V under a single line by just connecting the line, just making it look a little pretty because when the numbers are bigger and there's a lot more of these under lines floating around, it's really hard to do them as separate pieces. So one line would be a nice, nice way to look at it. Uh, let's do a 19,000 and then that should prove our point. How this extra rule is really allowing us to extend the pattern in the ones to the thousands. 19,000? Oh, I still have my 10,000. So let's do a little scribble on the side to figure it out. 10,000. Now I have to take care of 9,000, so it is still a decimal system that I do each place separately. And then just maybe make it look a little prettier. 9,000? Well, what is 9? 9 is 1 less than 10, so 9,000 is going to be 1,000 less than 10,000. So it's going to look like this. Perhaps a little strange. 
Does it make sense why it looks like that? Following the same pattern as it does in the ones, if it was a nine only. Any questions, comments, concerns? Maybe some concerns, but with a little practice, not so bad. Of course, the bigger numbers, the, the number system wasn't really designed with those bigger numbers, larger quantities in mind. So it does sort of make sense that it could uh, be a little less efficient if we have these bigger uh, numbers to represent. Any questions? Comments? All right, now it's just a matter of practice. Practice, practice, practice. Exercise 5.3, let's start small. Let's start small. And even if that's all we do today, that's perfectly fine. I gave a very easy one first, I apologize. We've already done this one. 5,000, 5,000. V, X, X, V, all the line over it will be? How do you get four? Did you say 40 or 20? I heard 40, I'm sorry. At my age, you know, the hearing is the first thing to go, they say. Yes? If you put M in front of the two X's, what is that? Is it not, is it like put it M in front of the two X's. Or can you not do that? That. Like for the other, which are the This one? Yeah, because I'm just thinking that that's 20. I don't See, know what that is. See, but this is now a special pair. A new one. So that would be new. It's the thousand equivalent of nine. So it's a new special pair added to those six. So you can't do M. So you can't do another, uh, you want another X over here. Mm -mm. I want like M in front of the X. Yeah. Another M here. Like one oh. M and then two X's. You want something like this. One M and then two X's. Two X's. Like that. Yeah. yeah. What is that? So now you have to think, well, this is a special pair here. Oh, okay. which would represent 9,000, which would be in my thousands column. But that guy is then at 10,000, so it's out of place because okay. it has to be here. Okay. So the same validity issues are still there. Okay. Maybe just more hidden. But for the same reason, you couldn't write 9 and then another 10. Okay. Because the tens have to go that this makes sense. I was just just wondering thing. why. Yeah. yeah. They just look a little stranger, I guess. But the same thing's happening now just in the thousands. Okay. So I still checking if they're valid becomes a little more tricky. Because I now added these subtractive pairs without really listing them. But they follow in the same way as as the, the previous six. Uh, what else do we have here? Uh, there's a typo in C. It should be CC with a line and then three M's. Because the rule says you can have I's under a line. And then I made a typo right away. So we fixed the typo. So that's where it should be. What does that represent? So I'll still go one place at a time. What is this place that, that the two C's with lines or with a line over it? What place is that representing? It's the hundred thousand place, which would make it two hundred thousand. I'll emphasize it there. Two hundred thousand just from that. 200,000, and then three M's, which will add, oops, sorry, <laughs> 3,000. 
So you can do it separately and say, okay, that's the 200,000 position, or the 100,000 position, there are two of them, plus another 3,000 for the M's, that's the thousands position, and nothing else is coming after that. So I put it all together. Are you taking the L or 50 out of the... Did not see the L. Okay. Did not see the L. So not only is my hearing going, my vision apparently is going as well. Everything's falling apart. That is what it should be. Is it Friday yet? <laughs> Just the eyes are, are making it invalid. Is everyone happy with that? Fun. All right. Okay, so I'm still doing the same thing. Uh, this, these two C's make the 100,000 position. Or column, or whatever you want to think. So it's going to be 200,000. Let's do it in detail then. That is going to be... 50,000, and that's going to be 3,000. Not that you have to write it like that, you can, all, you can put them all in one, but just to emphasize where all the digits are coming from. Some people are happy outside. Once you get the hang of it, it's really not that bad. Any questions on that? So it is still decimal value. Think of the uh, the places; they're just bigger numbers. Then we want to go the other way, which is arguably more difficult now. If I had to choose between the two uh, back and forth conversions, which one is more difficult? Maybe the other one. Given a decimal number, how do I write the Roman? Equivalent. So, what's our first example there? Yes, please make sure that I'm writing down the right thing. This was number one. This is now number two. A five hundred and eighty-two thousand. Five hundred and eighty-two thousand. All I want to do is just practice this. So. Take a few seconds, think about it, how do you feel about it, how easy is it for you, and that tells you how much you need to do in terms of practice. The additional examples may not be sufficient for you, I didn't want just lists and lists of numbers, you can easily make your own or challenge a friend, make up random numbers. The Roman number equivalent or 582,000. We're starting easy. And uh, I really just have to think of 582 and then put a line over it. So that's not so bad. 582 is? didn't fall, it's not a full 582 because the 2000 has two M's and not a line. That's really the only catch there. It's not the full 582, and it'll have two I's there, can't have a line over any I's. So the 2000, the thousand position needs to be Treat it with a little more care. So we're happy with that. It's okay if you're not happy with my day. The mood is not as happy as I want it to be. What can I do? I have a question. Yeah. Where is the 5.3 the C above it? Oh yeah, like we fixed it, right? two eyes, three eyes under a line, but now we can't. No, 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 it was a typo. I made a typo. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh. Thanks. <laughs> that's, that's not valid. It's not valid. No, no, no. Never any eyes under any lines. Okay, okay. There will be more typos coming. Oh, okay, cool. But there are typos. 
Honestly, I typed it, then looked up, well, what do they do between those yeah. two? Okay. Then I settled on the I, no I under a line rule, and I didn't look back to fix my examples. Okay. To sum up, I fail as a textbook writer. 53,000. Oh, that's the easy one. Isn't it easy? The easy ones make me feel very hard and predictable. The test is going to have convert this back and forth. Very predictable questions, which makes it easy. I just have to look at them separately. 50,000? Easy cake. 3,000. I can do those with M's. And I'm done. Isn't that easy? I think it's easy. You feel it's, it's too much writing down, not enough hands-on playing with things. If you want to play with Play-Doh, I sense it. On Wednesday we can play with some Play-Doh. Balance out all the numbers. How's that? And maybe if all goes well, I'll have some guest appearances because they want to play, play with Play-Doh. So maybe we'll see. Usually they're all taught, oh yeah, I want to come for Play-Doh Day. Then they show up, see all the people, and run away. <laughs> Don't get your hopes up. That's usually how it goes. But they heard we're playing Play-Doh, so they should come. 168,000. So right now what I'm, what I'm seeing here is take care of the thousands position, a little more than the others. What I'm seeing. A little bit. But I can still do them one at a time. Now 100,000 is that guy. So that'll be a C with a line. Well, let's do them temporarily. C with a line, 100,000. 60,000. 60,000. Just do 60. Put a line over it. And 8,000. Well, 8 is 5 and 3 ones, so this will be 5,000 and 3 single thousands. And then you can make it look pretty by extending that line. So CLXV is under the line, and then 3Ms. Not that you have to do this in between step. You can do it all in one go. Totally up to you. Even if you leave it like that, I won't mark this wrong, but sometimes it can be a little tricky to see what's under your lines and what doesn't have a line and so on. So it's nice to have it extended or connected. And we're happy with that. All right, where are we now? Uh, okay, so the nice thing with this line notation is that the sky is the limit, really. Because I can now make a number that has a line and put another line over it to make <coughs> multiple multiplications of a thousand. Like exercise 5.4, 1a uh, uh, will be v with two lines over it. So you just work from the inside out. So it'll be 5,000 multiplied by 1,000. So 5,000, 1,000, which will be the representation for 5 million. So the, the line over notation uh, is actually very efficient in that <coughs> The larger numbers don't really have representations that are longer necessarily. Because I just multiply by a thousand. Again and again. <coughs> so that's very efficient. Then we have something like B, where it's practicing this multiple line setup. V with a line, then two X's and all of them get a line. So lines inside of lines. Had to take it too far. Sorry. 
Look at that. Work from the bottom outwards, or inside out. So do this first. What is that? What is that? 5,020? Thousand. So it'll be five, zero, two, zero, and then three zeros. So five million twenty thousand. Does that make sense? Yes, typos. I'm happy that there are only two typos, honestly. That's a win for me. It should be x with two lines, l, and then three i's. I connect my i's because I think it looks nice. That does not mean there's a line over it. But uh, typed is no, it's no issue. So hopefully that doesn't create any issues. There's no line over the i there. Right? Okay, what do we do with this? This one's pretty easy, isn't it? You just do one of them first. So this will be 10. First line makes it 10,000. Another line makes it 10 million. And then I just take care of these ones. Uh, 53. Oh, it's not bad. How many zeros do I have here? One, two, three, four, five. Ten million and fifty-three. Is that right? Is it not VLIL? No, I'm changing it. You're changing it, okay. Changing the question. How would you write four million in Roman numerals? Four million. Can we write this in the space here? What do we think? Because we can't have an I under a line. So what is it not? What is the temptation? It's certainly not four uh, with two lines. Because then an I is under a line, and that's not allowed. So what else should we do? So look at the thousand first. Look at this. And then to make it another, to add those extra three zeros, we'll put a line over it. So what is the representation with, for 4,000? That is 1,000 less than 5,000. And for those three zeros, will be another line. So you're not making a million less than 5 million. What does that even look like? No, that would get very confusing. Yeah. So my subtractive pairs are only going into the thousands, and then I can put more lines over it if it goes, if it's further into the number, so to speak. A side one here that should probably uh, be added. A good observation. Any other questions? Yeah. So what that C is trying to represent is 4,053,000. So instead, it should have been, if we change this to a 53 and want to represent that quantity, you have your 4 million here and then 53. Maybe I should have changed it to that, that would have been better. Any other questions, comments? Need time to, to get used to it, so I don't want to rush it. And then you're forced to sit on your own and figure it out and struggle, and that struggle uh, makes me very negative sometimes when you feel isolated and struggle on your own. Yes? Um, for that, the four million example, wouldn't that be like 
five million minus a thousand. No. Five million minus one million. Five million. You're essentially saying five million mm -hmm. minus one million. And then the lines are just a little strange there. So do not have any more subtractive pairs. These are essentially the same. Okay. Right. The top lines are connected. And the bottom one, this bottom one is a thousand compared with that one thousand. So it is the same. Yeah. Does it matter which order you put the lines in? Yeah, that's very similar. Like if you add the second line on the top. If you, let me just turn it so everyone knows what I'm talking about. If you're saying this, yeah. Yeah. would that make sense? Because then what's happening under, you're working inside out, right? What's that? Let me just. Yeah, that's fine. You're saying this. What is happening under here? Does that make any sense? So there's a specific order you have to do that? You can't have you can't have a small line over something. This is as soon as you have a line, it it connects them. So this is one thing that has to be represented first. Now that multiplies by a thousand, but what is multiplied? Because this is one thing. You're not isolating the five anymore if you're connecting that line. Now it's a uh, thousand and five. That big line makes it a thousand. Where does that little line apply? See, it's, so it, it doesn't work. So if you're going to go lines on top of lines, it'll be the same length or longer as you go up. Because if you have a short line over a long line, where does that short line, what does it multiply a thousand by? You read it upwards then? You read it from the inside up, yes. Okay. yes. Yeah, it wouldn't make any sense. But if you have it like this, where the inside, the first line is this length, is one, and then the next one up is longer, now you know it applies to this. And you can multiply that by a thousand. Other way around, you don't know what it applies to. So you represent the subtractive pair first. And then Subtractive pair, and if I'm this deep in, I'm going to use the thousands. So in this case, I see it as 4,000, because I can't see it as 4. And 4 million would have been a little confusing, though essentially the same. So by looking at it in the thousands, using those subtractive pairs, it's really sufficient to do anything. I'll just put more lines over it if it happens to be in the millions or whatever comes later. So my subtractive pairs don't continue forever. They only need to go into the thousands. All right, let's try the other direction. Uh, Very easy. More questions, sorry. Oh. Uh, 2A is 582 million. Just linking with my other. Uh, example, 582 million. Now I'm going to look at it the same way as the other one, and then I'm just going to put a line over everything for those last three zeros. So it's going to be, so now I look at this first. 582,000 because I know I'll eventually just put a line over it. Which means I look at this 58,000 first, that was 50, A, uh, no, 500,000, sorry. 500,000, ah, D. 
80,000. So I'll eventually put a line over it. I'll put a temporary line over that one. I'm just doing the circle first. 500,000. 80,000. And the 2,000 doesn't get a line. So now I can connect these, make it look <coughs> as nice as possible. That was the circle. To get these, to put it in the right position, I'm multiplying by 1,000. There's a, there's a subtle practice of our decimal system happening here, which is the multiplying by a thousand, moving the number, and attaching zeros and all those things that uh, we might look at these Roman numerals, but we're actually working in our decimal system. It's just a little hidden. Everyone okay with that? All right. Uh, Seven million and fifty three thousand. The only way through this is just practice, practice, practice. Seven million fifty three thousand. So, what am I going to do? I'm going to look at this first. Because I know those extra three zeros will just be multiplying by a thousand. Take the circle, multiply it by a thousand, and then I'll be done. So look at the circle first. Seven thousand. That's five thousand and two thousand. Fifty-three. Fifty. Did we do this one already? It looks so familiar. So that's seven thousand and fifty-three. Multiplied by a thousand. Oh, sorry. Okay, okay, fine. That was our first attempt. First attempt. Now we just have to fix it a little bit, right? You see this, where's the problem? The problem is I just needed to keep the 3,000 separate, which we can easily do and just update. There's no problem. As long as that's not our final answer, it could be our temporary answer. As we're working towards the answer, that's fine. Manageable? It takes some getting used to. And I think we can honestly, for testing purposes, leave out exercise 5-5. Five, five. Because this is already, we can do it for fun and check your answers, but I think this is enough. Unless you say no, this is too easy. That is that. But I think it's good. Look at those. They're just so fun. So this is the level a test would be. Or smaller, of course. Maybe that makes you feel better. It makes bring some smiles. It's my job. I want everyone to be happy. One more. Um, 168 million. 23,000. You can argue that, you know, the Romans don't have, they had, didn't have issues with numbers that big. Why don't we just stop there? We get the point. We got out of it what we needed. And perhaps you're right. And it is there, the last exercise, if you really want to look at it, but it's not a test question. All right, so I know the extra three zeros won't be a problem at the end, so I just have to focus on this as if it's 168,023. So 100,000, I'm just doing a temporary building of the number, and then I'll clean it up if it needs it. <coughs> 60,000. Eight 
and now I can connect these. Maybe don't make all a wobbly line, maybe erase it and make a nice line. So that's 168,000. Then the 23. So this is just temporary, right? Oops, 20. Just temporary for now. And to get those three zeros, I would multiply by 1,000. But now I see, uh oh, I just need to fix this because it's 3,000 that needs to just be separate. Finger erasing is not looking very good. So I'll do them separately as three M's. I can have it temporarily just on my final answer. <coughs> yeah, I think that's, that's good enough. Let's, let's not push it too far, but like I said, you can totally do those for fun if you want to, or exercise by five. But I think maybe that's as far as we need to go. And there's, there's some hidden decimal number practice here. That even though we're working with Roman numbers, multiplying by a thousand, moving something around, putting zeros, it's, it's what we... Uh, it's what we do in whatever grade, early grades. Multiplying by a thousand, multiplying by ten, moving things around. So it is very closely linked to our decimal system. By looking at the Roman numbers instead, we're just a little bit out of our comfort zone. And we're forced to really think about, in this case, multiplying by a thousand. Think about looking at the digits separately and what position they're in. Because we're so used to the decimal numbers, we don't want to think about it. But as a little kid, it's brand new to them, they really have to think about it. So that's one benefit of looking at these number systems that are closely linked to our decimal system, but it's not that comfortable, so we really have to look a little bit more carefully. Right, this is the insert for exercise 5.5, where we convert larger numbers from Roman and to Roman. 1a as a large number that I'll copy down three X's and a V under a line then three M's a D an X an L, V and an I let's just make sure that's right otherwise it'll be very silly and we have to convert that to a decimal number. Okay, well remember that it is a decimal system at heart really. So let's isolate the ones will be there. Where are the tens? The tens are here. That is a special pair. Then the hundreds. That's a 500. Then I have to double check here. Where are the thousands? Where are the thousands? Not just the M's, but the 5,000 as well. And that'll give me an 8,000. And then these are the 10,000s. So I have, let's do it like this, a 30,000. Here I have 8,000. Here I have 500. Here I have uh, 40 and here I have 6 so therefore the number is 38,546 because I just add them together B copy that down correctly DCL uh, 3x is in a V and all of that under a line MCDI. MCDI. Okay. Again, isolate the decimal places. I have a 1. Uh, I don't have any 10s, so I'll have to remember that. I have a CD, that's the hundreds. Where are the thousands? Right there. 5,000 and 1,000. Then I have 30,000 here 
but this is also in the ten thousands and then my hundred thousand so this is going to be six hundred thousand this section is eighty thousand this is five thousand and another one thousand giving me six thousand that is four hundred and that is a one giving me six hundred and eighty six thousand four hundred and one one more of these conversions let's write that down uh, m and three c's m and three c's l x x and all of that under a line then I have an M and a V under a line D X I X all right let's section it off I have my nine here I have a single ten for the tens column then I have my hundreds my thousands is a special pair ten thousands are over there hundred thousands are over there and my uh, one million so here I have one million here I have three hundred thousand here I have seventy thousand here I have a thousand less than five thousand which is four thousand uh, let's do it like this I have 500, I have a 10, I have a 9. Therefore, it is 1,374,519. Now we do number 2, where I convert the other way. Let's write down the number 86,000. 473. Now think of it this way. Break it up. It's uh, obviously, let's do it like this 80,000, 6,000, 400, 70, and 3. So now I simply start converting. 80,000. Well, 80 is L, X, 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 with a line over it. 6,000 will be 5,000 and 1,000. And I can connect those lines to make it look pretty. 400 is 100 less than 500. 70 is L, X, X, and 3. Don't be confused by that, I just do it like that because it looks nice. It's not an actual line over it. I'm just connecting the eyes because it's like a font. It's just nice. But you don't have to do that. Next number, 864,731. So it's 800,000, 60,000, 4,000, 730 and 1. So 800,000. So 800 is what? That's D C C C thousand. 60,000. What is 60? 60 is L X. And I continue my line. 4,000 is a special pair. It's a thousand less than 5,000. 700 is DCC. 30 is three X's and a one. We're done. C. Uh, six million. 638,457. All right, 
Uh, I'm just going to maybe move this down in case I run out of space. I'll do it over here. I have 6 million 600,000 30,000 8,000 457 So 6 million what is 6 million? Remember that you can't have an I under a line. So I have to do 6,000 times 1,000. What is 6,000? It's 5,000 and 1,000 times another 1,000. That's 6 million. 600,000? will be 600 is DC thousand now if you don't like the lines I'm not gonna be too uptight about how you connect the lines perhaps uh, on the spot here I'm thinking maybe it's better to keep them separate if you want to if you really want to, it, it doesn't matter if you if you keep them separate. Let me just make it clear here what's erased. Hopefully that's clear enough. I think so. Uh, so now I have 600,000, 30,000, so that's 30,000. Just to show you don't have to connect them if you don't want to. Uh, 8,000, that is 5 thousand and three thousand four hundred is a CD fifty is a single L and a seven so it's up to you if you want to connect them or not at the very least if you're not sure you can maybe connect these or leave them completely it really uh, doesn't matter I'll accept them all if you're not sure, you can leave the lines as separate pieces. It's all good. Please remember to click the like button if you enjoyed the video. And to subscribe if you want to be notified of more videos. Thank you.